How's it going? Where to be see Thomas Sauer and Piper here. And I went shopping today to a local tobacconist. And I found this. It's a Red Trace Summer Edition 2018. Here you can see. Still sealed, so I haven't opened it. Just picked it up. And couldn't really resist when I saw it. I actually went there to try some old Gauri, but it was either the old Gauri, which I didn't know if I'm gonna like, or this one. And I liked the box, so I had to go with this one. Like I said, Red Race Summer Edition 2018. So let's open it up, it's a nice box. Comes in a packaging like this. With a nice little note, Red Race Summer Edition 2018. It's an aromatic tobacco with vanilla, ingwer, and lemon. Or oh, vanilla, ginger, and lemon, so I should say. And the components are Golden Virginia, Burley, and Black Cavendish. And a back side. Another note. I hope you can read it. So you can just pause the video and read it if you're interested. Anyway, it comes in a 100 gram packaging. So here we go. Let's open it up. It's completely sealed. So I haven't smelled it or anything. Whoa. It smells really strong and really nice. Maybe is it? Don't know if you can see it. It's a nice fragrance. Yeah. It really has a vanilla, ginger, and lemon smell to it. I don't know how the taste is. It's a loose cut. It breaks off really easy. And I'm going to use the top piece to get a little bit out of the packaging. Rub it out a little bit. It's on the wetter side of things, in my opinion. It's really easy to test if you take a bunch of tobacco, press it together between your things, fingers, and it stays pressed together. You know, it's way too wet, or at least for me, it's too wet to smoke. I don't plan to. Burn the crap out of my tongue. So I'm probably gonna let it dry out a little bit more. But you can see, I'll try to focus the camera on it. The Golden Virginia, the Berlin Black Cavendish. Really nice and loose. So 
So, like I said, I'm gonna let it dry out a little bit and I will be right back in a second. I'm back with the Retrace Summer Edition 2018 and I let it dry out for now and I already packed my pipe which I will show you in just a minute. I forgot to mention of course there was a warning sticker right across here to seal it but like I said luckily it was just a sticker so you can take it off really easy and you don't ruin such a great design. You still have the warning sticker on the back, but I don't really care about it. As long as it's just on the back and not plainly visible, which I hate the most. Like I said, I've already tried it out. I should have waited a little bit longer, but I'm impatient when it comes to new tobacco. So I already packed my 780 Autograph 3P. And I would say, let's fire it up. Interesting. I'm just saying this right off the bat. This will not be a review, just a first impression. But I'm kind of interested, impressed, don't know how to call it. You really had the lemon, vanilla, ginger smell right off the, from the bag. So a little bit zesty and I don't know why but it gave me the smell of a sour green apple. And it reminded me of something entirely different, but I can't pin it down what it is. And of course I can't speak about room note. The only room note I noticed was since I left the tobacco to dry out a little bit on the air. <laughs> I went out of my room, came back and the whole room smells like it, so a really pleasant surprise in my opinion. Flavor-wise it's really light you you get the citrusy kind of flavor a little bit the zesty tang It's a little bit like when you're cold and you make a ginger and honey tea. So you boil some ginger and put honey in it to drink. 
it kind of reminds me like that, but not extremely strong flavor, but just a, la a little hint, in my opinion. doesn't give me a tongue bite really. I normally notice it when right after, from, right from the start if a tobacco can give me a tongue bite or not but if it, it would probably give me some tongue bite if I didn't let it dry out. But the way it is right now it's fine. Yep. I still get the little bit of a sour green apple, but not uh, fresh, but I mean the dry slices from a sour green apple. A little bit at the back, which is kind of interesting. So, really a lot of fruity flavors. Okay, it's a summer blend, so that was kind of expected. And, and just taking a look at the back of the box. What they have written there. Exotic blank for summer with golden Virginia, barley, black Cavendish. I will try to translate it, but I don't know if I can. Bright sunshine. A turquoise blue sea, um, a soft and white beach, exotic flowers in all color va variation, um, lose yourself in a daydream while smoking this year's summer edition from Red Tray. The master blenders from Red Tray. Um, Created in an exotic blend for summer with Golden Virginia, Burley and Black Cavendish. So, basic translation, not one of my best works, but... We'll have to make do with that. But it's a really light aroma, not something extremely overpowering, at least for me. And what I can get from the strength, etc., it's more on the medium side, so not strong, but not completely light either. So light medium would be my suggestion. I will keep you up to date if my opinion about it change a little bit. Like they often do when you smoke a plant for a longer period of time, you just get to know it better and better. So I will talk about it a little bit in another video. Don't want to keep you any longer. So take care everybody, happy smoking and see you later in another video. Bye guys.